Hello everyone, this is Thursday and I'm going to start calling every Thursday Senior Thrifting Thursday. And that's basically what the video is going to be and then we'll do uh, some kind of pouring at the end. Um, and excuse me, yes I'm sniffling. My allergies are all over the place. I am uh, having issues with my throat and my sinuses and please forgive me. And of course, this is Thursdays, and our daily routine on Thursdays is Dan and I go to church Thursday morning, then we leave there and we go to um, the Salvation Army, where it's senior uh, day and where you get 25% off. Unless it's a uh, color tag, and then one color is 50% off, and another color is a dollar. No matter what it is, it's a dollar. Uh, and I go every Thursday. And today was no exception. And I have quite a few items here. And I'm going to just set them up here. Okay. This one right here. Now this is going to go on eBay and Posh. It is a Harley Davidson. Uh, it's an official licensed product, and it's a Harley Davidson Live to Ride uh, mug, and I paid four ninety nine minus the twenty five percent. It's in excellent condition, and I just thought it was really cool. So, yep, that's going up on sale. Uh, on my eBay and Poshmark store and I will list that for $29.99 and it should sell fairly quickly Okay, and I think that's the only thing. Oh, no, I bought these because these were adorable And I'm gonna list these too, but the rest of it's not Stuff I bought to list But let me show you these. And I hope you're seeing this. Wait a minute. I'm sitting down and I'm not sure if you're seeing this or not. Let me stand up. I'm trying to learn how to do it sitting down. Yeah, I think you're seeing this, right? Were you able to see this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I bought this. I thought it was adorable, and it needs to be cleaned. I've not done anything to it. And I believe this is a uh, rain catcher. It's adorable. It wouldn't have to be a rain catcher, though. You could paint that and put a flower in there or something, I guess. I just thought it was really cute. And I paid $3.99 minus the 25% discount. And then I got this one to go with it. It's going to go as a set. And that's how <clears throat> it, it bounces. <clears throat> See? It goes back and forth. <clears throat> but I just thought these were adorable. And I spent a dollar on that one, so five dollars minus the twenty-five percent discount. And I am probably going to list the set of these for twenty-two dollars on my eBay and Posh store. Okay, I think the rest of them is stuff that I got to make molds with. I got that to make a mold with. That was a dollar ninety nine. I'm gonna take it out. It's a birthstone bear, but I'm not that concerned with that. I don't care what the birthstone is. Um, I just thought that would be an awesome looking mold. 
and I don't know how I'm going to get rid of the base, or even if I want to. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of the base, because that would set perfectly in there. I may leave the base on there. I don't know. Y'all tell me. What do you think? <laughs> But it's crystal. And it's really, really shiny, as you can see. And I think that would make a fabulous mold. So that's why I bought that, to make a mold. I don't do good standing up. Okay. Oh, and these I bought too. These need to be cleaned. But I thought I bought these to make molds with too. Leafs candle holders. And I paid a dollar a piece for those. And then I paid a dollar a piece for these trays that I'm going to make a mold with. But I think before I make a mold, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put some kind of inlay there. So it's not just a plain tray. And I like the roundness of it. And I actually bought two of them. This one's got some markings on it, but I don't know if it's on the back. I think it's on the back, so that shouldn't have any effect on it. But yeah, all these pieces I got. And I can make two different ones with different inlays right there to make different molds with. <clears throat> oh, this one, yeah. This one is fairly large. I did pay four ninety nine before uh, the twenty five percent discount, but oh, I love that. I just and and look, I mean, it looks distressed. It does. You can feel all those little marks in that, which means that oh, it's got a signature on it. I didn't see that, but I don't know what that signature is, and it needs to be cleaned. Of course, I show it to you just out of the bag. Okay, this is art. Oh, these are, this is made in Greensburg, Louisiana, USA. Art stones. Okay, I am going to have to remove that. But, yes, I love this. And I am going to make that into a mold. And depending on how much silicone it takes, I may, I may offer that as a mold uh, for a decent price. Um, it won't be extremely, uh, but it would have to cover the cost of silicone and a little bit for my time, but that would be about it. Um, but we'll see how that turns out. This was only a dollar ninety-nine, and I had to get it because there's, you know, there's so many things that you could use this with, especially doing your own pigment paste, and grinding um, the micas down to make it really fine for pigment paste. And so I'm going to just leave this sitting right up here, and if I need one, then I have one. And my garbage can is filling up fast. I cleaned out all my uh, up underneath here. And I have less resin than I was thinking that I had. I thought I had some Nick Pro Detour. But I, I don't find that in here. So I guess I just imagined having it. Okay. 
And then these are little dog figurines. And yes, I'm going to make some molds out of this. There's no chips. That is just where the paint's missing. I always check to make sure there are no chips in it. And I paid a dollar for these. And the same with this one. And these are matte right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these outside. Once I clean them off real good. This is an old home co. Uh, and I paid a dollar for that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them off really good. And then I'm going to take them outside. And I have this luster varnish that makes it really high gloss shiny. And I'm going to spray these on here so the, the mold will be really shiny. And I'm going to do that with this snail, too. Look at how cute that is. And there's a lot of texture in here. And so, yeah, that's going to be a mold. And I paid a dollar for that, too. And I'm going to also spray that with uh, the luster varnish. Now, this I cannot make. But, oh, I couldn't leave that there for a dollar. Uh, that's going up on my eBay Poshmark. I mean, just look at the face. Yeah, there is no way I could leave that there at that store. <laughs> and that's Japan. That's old. And it's in really good shape. So, look at the cork. See, the cork bottom is still there. Is there a label? No, there's no label. But, oh, that's just... Yeah, that was just too cute. Okay, that's one bag. And this I got for myself. And you probably can't see it. I just liked it. I like the natural frame. I love what it says. And I paid $4.99 before the discount. And it says all I need today is a little bit of coffee. Actually, a whole lot of coffee. And a whole lot of Jesus. And I need both. And then I got this. And uh, for all of y'all that are around my age, you'll remember this. And every dish we have up in our cabinet. Now, we've got some really nice china and uh, crystal wine glasses. They're all up in my china cabinet. We do not use these. Use those. What is in my ca everyday cabinets is Corel. It is nothing but Corel. All of our bowls, all of our plates, everything is either Corel or Melmac. So when the grandkids come, I don't have to worry about it. That stuff doesn't get broke. But I needed another tray, and this is a pretty good tray. And this is the old pattern of Corel. And it's sturdy. It needs to be washed. But see, Corel. Yeah, and I bought that for me. And I know I could sell that, but it's not going to be for sale. Uh, I bought that for me. And then, I bought this. It was $3.99 before uh, my 25% discount. And it's silicone. And it sticks really well. It does not move. I mean, see, I'm shaking the whole uh, thing, but this is not moving. And I thought, I could mix up little different colors of resin, of UV resin, of paint. I don't know. Um... Oh, just a little bit of resin, a little bit of mixed to mold, uh, put my brushes or my uh, utensils I used down on it, but it's, it's silicone. So there's no way I was not going to get that because it's a fairly large piece. And then I got these. I don't know what they're supposed to be for. But I paid $5.99 before my discount of 25%. I know what I'm going to use them for. I don't know what they originally were made for. If y'all know, let me know. I've not looked them up or anything. But anytime I can find stuff that's silicone like this. And I can use down here with my crafting. Well, I know I couldn't get them anywhere else cheaper than that. Not, not for, I think there's a total of six of them in here. You see that? These are silicone. 
I could use that to mix stuff up with. I could pour resin in there. I don't think it would. Yeah, it wouldn't come out. I'd have to cut it out. So, but I'm what I bought this for is to have things to mix resin up with. That's exactly what I bought them for. Oh, and they're oh they're nasty. Oh yeah, they really are nasty. Okay. That one of them said something. Yeah, hub lifestyle. I don't know what that is. Yeah, these definitely are going to have to go upstairs and be washed. Because they are nasty. But I got six of them. And I'm fixing to wipe my hands off. Oh, goodness. Now I got, oh, there it goes. These are these antibacterial wipes. I really like these. I should have gone back to the Dollar Tree today and got some more of these. I like the way they make my hands feel after using them. They don't feel like they're drying them out. Like a lot of the antibacterial wipes do. Sanitizers. And then I got these, and they just slide, slide off on boxes. And that will be covered up and painted, but it's the tongue and groove, so... Yep, I'm going to do something with those. I'm not quite sure yet what, but something. And then I got a big old bag of wine stoppers. And uh, I think I'm, I know what I'm going to do with this. But I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but I paid $3.99 for that bag before the 25% um, discount. Oh, and this one's really pretty. I think this is my favorite piece. You see that right there? I absolutely love this. This is a tile. And it looks almost like enamel. And there are a few imperfections. But I am making a... Uh, even with the, the little imperfections. I'm making a um, silicone inlay with that right there. Because that I, I want that on one of the trays that I have. And yeah, I'm most definitely going to make a... Because I don't know if you can feel it. You can feel all the design in there. And it's ceramic. It's a ceramic tile that's made where you can stand it up. And it sets up just like that. And that's glaze. They didn't do a real good job. They didn't finish it off. But the front of it is, I loved. So, yep. And that is the last thing that I got. Let me set this stuff here. I'll pause it and I'll be back when I get all this stuff put up. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I have decided to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And when I was cleaning, I found this. Now, y'all know that this is not my uh, casting powder of choice. But it's here, so I might as well use it. I don't know how long it's been there. It's the kit. And it, it's the complete kit. I, I've not done anything with it. I bought it, and I, I never used it. And there's the molds that uh, it came with. And it came with cups. It came with a measuring cup. And it came with this. Which I love these sticks. But now you can get those off of Timu. 
but I, I absolutely love these. J. Dixon does good by including these. Now, I don't know if these are as good as the ones I have out now. Uh, and I don't think they have brown, so we're not going to test it out because I want to do that in brown. It also comes with the wax. Those things, which I don't ever use. Oh, wow. It came with sanding paper. Look, big old long sheets of sanding paper. <clears throat> I needed that. And then it comes with a thousand grams, which I believe is one pound. A thousand grams of the casting powder. And I know I've had that down there for over a year, y'all. That's why I need to clean things out. <laughs> really need the wax but I'll put it up here we're gonna do this first and then we're gonna pour some resin but this is the hedgehog mold that I got in yesterday I want to see if it's gonna work I want to see how good it's gonna be to know if I I want to keep it or not so we're gonna try that and since I found this we're gonna use that And since I don't need to heat this up, we'll use this. Because I don't think one of those are going to be big enough. I probably should pull some more molds out in case I make more. Oh, let me get some gloves on. For some reason, the resin creep irritates my hands. I always have. The mixed mold does not. And, and I don't know what the difference is, but there, there is a definite difference. I need to get some water. I'm not going to waste those. Those would uh, be good resin. Well, well, they do. They are for uh, the polyurethane. So let me just get some paper cups. Okay, let me pour. Huh. Okay, I want the brown. And I want it fairly dark. And I don't want to waste that on the... See that powder coming up.
I probably should have put my mask on. I'm going to put a little black in there. Nope. Not purple. I think I should put a little blue. Sometimes the blue helps out just a little bit. Let me put up just a little touch of blue and see if I can't get... Come on. Why isn't that mixing up good? I didn't change it at all. Clicking you hear is my phone. Oh, that looks like chocolate milk. So I guess I'm going to add a little bit of black. Let me shake it up good. That blue didn't do a bit of good. Just a drop. Nope. Didn't really change things either. There's an odor to this. What is that odor? I know that's not enough. But. I know that's not enough. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm going to add some more water. Because I don't want to have to add. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if it won't get rid of the air bubbles doing this with that too. No, it's not working as good with this. And the mix mold works really well when you do that. That is not working. There's still a whole bunch of bubbles right there. I don't want them there. Okay. We're going to do the shimmy shimmy shake. I don't want those bubbles down in there. Oh, 
Did I make just enough? Oh, wow. That's awesome when that happens. It really is awesome when that happens. Oh, there's a hole there. It's because it's a planter. I don't want that hole there. So I'm purposely going to try to cover it up. And to make it more durable, I will put UV resin over the top of it when it's finished because that is not a big enough pot for a planter. Okay. Made just enough for that. So we're going to clean this up. We're going to close this up. I haven't heard any more from uh, the mixed oh no the mixed mold company since they sent me the email saying that they would like to send me some pre mixed mold. Uh, I hope that I do hear back from them. I think that would be awesome. I can't see them doing that and then not you know. Uh, I'm sure they're not just sitting there by their computer saying oh is she gonna <laughs> is she gonna text us back or what <laughs> yeah but i am running sort of low on it and i got the last one my michael store has and i definitely will not pay for the shipping the only time i uh order through Michaels is if I'm going to have at least $49 worth of stuff so I get free shipping or I normally order it as pickup I order it online and then go get it and I'm normally not the one to go get it John and Ashley normally run and get it for me and yes I know I shouldn't do this I just can't help it, y'all. I don't know. Are y'all like that, or do you just leave it all on? And I'm not going to just do that. I'm fixing to move it to get it out of the way. I'm going to put it up over here. And it's still good. Oh, wow. Okay, let me clean my hands off. I have this water here, so let me just do this and get that powder off my gloves. If I don't have to change gloves, I won't. I just don't want the powder all over them. I got my seat wet though. Now I'm going to have a wet butt. Oh, before I forget it, uh, I told y'all in uh, a couple videos back that for the giveaway, uh, I was going to have uh, secret words. Well, I don't know how many, and I didn't say where they were going to be, just that they would be in or on the video somewhere. And since there was very few of you that posted it, it either tells me that you did not know what the secret word was, or you forgot that there was a secret word, or you didn't know where it was. 
So I am going to tell you that there is most definitely a secret word in yesterday's video. Uh, and I will tell you that it's not actually in the video, but it's somewhere on the video. Now, is that a riddle or what? <laughs> Some of you have found it. Uh, so be sure if you're interested in the um, the coaster set, the imperfect coaster set, but it's still cute. If you're interested in, in uh, having a chance to win that, uh, find the secret word from yesterday's video and put it in the comments. This video will also have a secret word at some point. And uh, tomorrow's video will also have. And uh, then uh, I said Friday we would do the giveaway, but since I'm not, my videos sometimes don't come out too late. We're going to wait and do it Saturday. And, uh, if I could get somebody to help me Saturday, we might do a live Saturday. But I, I know I can't do it by myself, and Ashley is so, uh, but she's off tomorrow for Good Friday. And, uh, so it's maybe, I, you know, I'll ask her and see if she's willing to do that Saturday. And if she is, then we'll just go live and uh, do the giveaway then. And maybe just chat uh, a little bit. Uh, that might be fun. I haven't done a live in a long time. If you want me to do a live on Saturday, put in the comments that you would love to for me to do that. And you would uh, be there to join me. That, that would be great. And if I get enough people to comment, then that's what we'll do. Uh, if I can't get uh, Ashley to help, maybe I'll get Max to read them off for me. Because I can't read the comments and pay attention is my problem. Y'all know I'm technically challenged. I'm not good with computers. Uh, okay. So. I think we're going to tackle these. And I have a little bit of resin. And you're, you're not going to see the finished product of this if I do this in resin. I may change my mind. But right now, I want to uh, try to do those with these. Now, I've had these forever. And I showed them on my Timu hauls when I got them. And I know it's been at least six or seven months ago. Uh, and these are mica powders in the stick. And I don't know what colors I've got. I don't really have a green. Ooh, but I like that holographic one right there. I think we're going to do these two. How about that? I don't know if they're holographic, but let's let's try these first. It may just be the way the... It's in there. The mica is in the, the tip. And I thought these might be fairly easy because it's like a, uh, almost like a marker. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to take it off of these leaves, but I think that's going to be somewhat easy if I don't get a bunch of the leaves. And I'm trying to stay right at... I 
the branches. Okay, there's that one. I've only got three of these uh, coasters. I'm telling you, remember when I said that the only four-piece set that I had was the ones that I did? It really surprised me. I don't know how I ended up with three or two. Which does not make any sense at all. And you want to go sort of light. Don't go heavy-handed on this. It works with a light touch if you've got enough mica powder on the end. And I may not try to get all the gold off of all the leaves. I may leave some of them. I just want to make sure I get all the branches good. really hard to try to do it this far away from where you're at but if I do it where it's comfortable for me you can't see it so Yeah, that thumb is just a click away. It's better than that annoying other sound that was on there. That was the, the, the least annoying sound that I could find on the phone.
Okay. Now the fun part, y'all. This is where we get to clean our mess up. And this is how I do it. I take alcohol and I take a little wipey. Wow, well, it's not a wipey. It's one of those napkin things. And one of those micro brushes. You know what I wish they would make? Little tape brushes. Where the tape would be on the end of something like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nope. Let's let's just hold on a minute. I just got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but it popped in my head, so we're going to try it. I have heavy duty duct tape here. And this is some heavy duty duct tape. We don't need a whole lot. Y'all done this before? I mean, I know tape removes mica but for some reason. I don't think it's removing. I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't like the way. Let's get a brush. I don't like. I don't like the way the micro brushes do. Let's get a regular brush. This is a little liner brush. I don't care if there's a little bit of gold on the leaf. I just don't want it totally covering the leaf. I'm putting some alcohol down here, so. And I see some places I need. Although, I don't know. It might be fine. If even all the branches aren't totally gold and they pick up another color we're just gonna make it as easy and simple as we can and not stress out too much how about that because crafting is supposed to be fun
Okay, I think that one's good enough. I think that one looks pretty good too. Okay. Now let's go on to this one. <sighs> well, this got stuff all over the mold. Which I did not say. Right there. Y'all see all that? I just got these out of the plastic. These were sealed. So I don't know. Let me try, try one and see if I can't get some of this. Okay. I think that's good enough. Okay, we're going to start with a blue. We're going to try that blue first. Only because I love blue. No, oh, this is falling off of. Okay, this is not doing as good as the branches did. <laughs> See that? Hmm. I think that's just the blue. I think it's just this one.
Maybe it's because I'm holding it up. Maybe I should just lay it down. Maybe that's what's causing it. Okay, we're going to go with the purple one. Wow, that's bright and vivid. I think maybe it was because I was holding it up. Okay, let's try that color. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color right there. Okay, I'm going to take this really super soft brush, and this is super, super soft. And I'm just going to barely Okay, good enough. Is it going to be perfect? No, it's not. But... Oh, no, I can't do this. I tried, y'all. Still not going to be perfect, but I mean, really, I have to do this.
I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but let's just keep on going. Maybe try to be a little bit easier on the, the brush. Let's do the blue over here. Okay, we did the purple, All right? Do this color. Yeah. Okay. Sorry I'm being so quiet. I 
I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> it's not helping a whole lot. Though. Okay. What is this color? I don't know. Let's see if that works. Nope. Nope. It looks like pokey dotted. Hmm. Let me pokey dot it all. Maybe I can get all these polka dots out of here. Okay, let's try this then. I got a silk white. No, that is not shimmery enough. And these interference powders have way. Here's a pearl powder. Let's see. Is that shimmery? Oh yeah, okay. Let's just see. This one's going to look different than the rest of them. But... Very carefully right now, just putting it in between and over. Yeah, okay. Once I do that, then I'm not worried about smearing it all over the place. You know, I don't expect these to be perfect, but I'm hoping they'll be pretty. That one's going to look different. Because I tried that on there. But, you know, if you don't try, you don't know. That's how you learn. Oh, 
Okay. We're going to put these up. I like these right here. I really do. They'd be nice around bigger items. clean my brush out. I love these things. Okay. Let's go right there. Yes, I am going to clean because I got mica powders everywhere. You may not be able to see them, but I know that they're here and I don't want them. They're all over my gloves, number one. I'm going to move the SL up here. Out of the way. I want you to be able to see that. I'll move the hello right here. Because, yes, I want everybody to see the hello. Okay. And we're going to pour these. And we're going to pour these with the 10 minute polyurethane. 10 minute cure polyurethane. And I am going to spray my gloves off with alcohol good enough oh while I'm thinking about it I'm bringing this over here because that way I can set I don't care if it's clean I'm going to be setting my I say I don't care if it's clean. Let me wipe it down real quick with the alcohol. I'm just going to be putting my utensils that I use on here so it doesn't get on this right here. Okay done and good and I just got this in I hadn't even opened it that's the oh nope that's a naked fusion we don't want that one <laughs> I do want to try that that's that new one that I got and I haven't tried it yet this is the one that I just got in Right here, 60 ounces, $44 for this stuff. But, you know, you pay for what you want, I guess. And I like the 10 minute cure, so. Especially with doing videos. You know, there's, there is just great. I am not one to get up early in the morning and then late at night be able to uh, finish your video. That's just not my lifestyle. That just, isn't who I am. Uh, if it, you know, if I get lucky one day, and uh, I have made a couple of videos like that, but it, it's it's not a norm for me. I am looking for cups. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am looking for cups. One, two, three. I'm going to say. I don't even think that's going to hold an ounce, though. Maybe I'm going to make I'm going to make three and a half ounces, and we're going to just in case I have enough to do that with. 
I want to have an alcohol ink that I can pour in there to get some sort of color in it. So let me see if I can't find. Uh, well, I'm going to try salmon. Salmon. I don't think that's the color I'm going to want, but at least there will be something. Uh, oh, and this. Let's see. So I'm going to want Huh. Yeah, no, that's not going to work for me. There's two Taylor's bags. It's one fluid out. We'll do hmm. It's going to be a plug in here. One. We're making four ounces, y'all. Know what it is about this bee, but the plug is always almost impossible to get out. Oh, I can't get it out, y'all. It's like this every time. With only this polyurethane. It's like it gets. Uh -uh. Nope. It's not coming out. There it goes. Come on. No. Oh, what that was pain. Okay. And so I don't have a mistake, I'm pouring these cups. And I know it needs to come up to four. On the glass. If you ever get these, if you pour them sideways, they don't leak out as bad on you. Oh, putting the plug back in. I don't know why I'm doing that, though, because it's going to be hard as 
I'll get out to get back off. Stir it for about a minute. They should be even. I don't think I have enough. I know I don't, so let's do this real quick and just see what happens. And I'll make up enough. see I made two ounces so let's make an ounce up now I made four ounces and it did two so two ounces one and a half ounce oh goodness well let's just see if I can get B off again Oh no, I dropped the lid. Put the plug on it and I'll set it over here and get the top of it later. Okay. And we got A, and I know you can't see this, but that's okay. You don't. Too much. 
Okay. I'm just trying to get the resin off my hand, y'all. This is probably going to be too much, but Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Let's pour this one. I think there's enough. I sort of want to see what this is. Let's pour this little bitty shell thing right here. Oh wow, that's leaking. So is that okay? I got it on a unlevel part of the table here. Just get up there on the silicone, please. I always do it. I thought, oh wow, I'm going to do once. I'm not going to get overage. But, oh, no. And now I'm just trying to clean my mess up. This polyurethane resin does not clean up the same way as a regular epoxy resin. It almost leaves a white film uh, on the stuff like cups and I can't ever seem to get it out of there it's not the one that's already mixed the A and B mixed together it's when you it's the separate ones part A and part B when you use those silicone cups to mix it with it's like it leaves a uh, and this is already going to get gooey and I don't want to do this
Okay, good enough. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to let it get hard. And I'm just spraying that to try to get it off. I'm not worried about this. This is silicone. It will peel right off of that. But it does not come off as easy. Um just this plastic. So, let's see, we didn't have enough for that, so I'll put that up. I'm gonna spray this down while I'm waiting. And I could probably pause you and come back when it's all ready. But, you know, it's fun to watch it turn white. And it sort of lets you know about how long it really takes. And when, or if, I don't do it very often. Uh, but when you see someone do it and then just come back, you, you don't have any concept of how long it really takes. And there's always a fast forward button, y'all. And that's not wanting to come off of there. There it goes. I just had to get enough. alcohol Shoot, alcohol stinks I had resin all over my phone I had to I had to uh, get alcohol and a little uh, plastic scrubber out so I wouldn't ruin my of course I've got a glass covering uh, protective uh, screen on my phone but you still don't want to get resin all over it I'm gonna love this right here I knew I would use it because it sticks it doesn't move see it's allowing me to really scrub and the thing is not moving. I can see where this would really come in handy for a lot of different things. They had three of them. I only bought one. Now I wish I'd bought all of them. I do that all the time. I think, well, I only need one. <laughs> I could have put one over there, one over there. going to take a while for those so we're going to try now with J Diction you're supposed to be able to take it out in 30 minutes now with mixed mold which is my favorite everybody knows that everybody who knows me knows that mixed mold is my favorite casting powder I have not tried aqua cast yet uh, I probably will never be able to try aqua cast because it just costs way too much to have shipped over here. Uh, so with the ones that I have used, mixed mold is my favorite. But I had the J Diction, uh, and I love the J Diction pigment powders. Okay, that's really strange. I like one of one and one of the other. Uh, but we're using with this uh, hedgehog. I'm keeping that on the mat because it's all sticky. Uh, we are using with this, that is the J Edition Resin Creek. So y'all don't get confused. This that I poured, the porcupine, no. 
kind of porcupine it's hedgehog right it is the J Dixon Rosen Creek because I found a whole thing of it up underneath there and because I'm not sure how this mold is going to be for the first time I'd rather waste this than waste the mixed mold so I tried it with it I know that sounds horrible doesn't it but it's the truth I wasn't too sure about this mold, so I'm trying to see if I'm going to be able to use it or send it back. Yeah, it's getting up underneath, and I don't want it to dry that way. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Let me check my gloves and make sure I don't have any resin left. Let me just change my gloves. How about that? That way I don't have to worry about it. Just change my gloves. An hour and 37 minutes. Whew, look at my hands from being in those gloves. I don't really, oh, that's Jay Dixon. I don't really need my gloves on for this, but... I wouldn't be putting them on if it was mixed to mold. Oh, and they're not wanting to go on because my hands are all sweaty. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's insanity. I can't wear gloves like that. Trying to dry them off. Just like my hands are saying, no, I don't want those gloves back off. <laughs> like a child kicking his shoes back off, these gloves are saying, no, no. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to be very easy. This is not going to, yeah, I'm going to have to. Okay, right off the bat, I noticed that this is a lot coarser. It's not as smooth, even on the bottom. I'm not worried about the color because even the other does when it's but now this has been setting in the mold the recommended time. I never leave the mixed mold in for the 60 minutes. But now this J. Diction Resin Crate says to leave in for 30 minutes. And it has been in for way more than 30 minutes. So it should be good to go. Yeah, see the color? I just don't, you know, sometimes I like the color when it does that. The mushroom did that with the J. Diction uh, pigment. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Is that the mold you see on the inside there? Because that's bigger than I thought. And that is on the inside. No, it's not. That is, though. You see all the imperfections in that thing? Oh, that's a bad mold. That is definitely not a smooth mold. Look at that. That is from the mold, y'all. Mm. Look at the feet. That's the mold. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Oh. Yeah, that is not the casting powder. That is the mold right there. Look at all the air bubbles, though. Is that the casting powder? Ooh, I'm not used to that either. Mm -mm. 
they're all yeah you see that they're all I think that's the casting powder but this right here the inside and that is big enough for a planner but the inside of this oh that looks bad especially that part right there and that is I hope you can see that let me bring it up close you see all the imperfections on the inside They're all, especially right in here. You see all that right there? And all that. And that down there. And you see those wrinkles right there? And then there's one right there. And then there's another one right there. That is what caused that right there. And all these marks on the inside. That's from the mold. That is from a faulty mold. So I'm going to have to send this back, even though I hate it. I'm not going to keep, because I paid $8 for this. There's no way I'm going to keep a mold that is that faulty. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. Um, and I hate it, because I really wanted to get a good mold for that. Oh, that's so sad. If anybody else has got this mold, let me know if the inside of theirs looks this way, okay? I know Coral uh, Marine uh, got this mold. I don't know if she got it from Timu or not, but I know she's got this mold. So, Coral, if you're watching, uh, please let me know about your mold. Let me know if yours has got all this in here. I mean, it's all the way through on the mold, uh, and let me know if yours looks that way. And also the feet. The the feet is like halfway taken off. I don't know. It's just, it's not a good mold. Um, and maybe I just got a bad one. And if I could find a good one somewhere, I would love to have it. But that's depressing. I'm not going to throw this away. I'll, I'll try to sand it down and I'll paint it and I'll use it for myself. But there's no way that I'm going to do anything else with it. Okay. Well, at least we found out. That's how I find out. Oh, i got to get some water. Okay, so let's go on. This is not, that's not going to dry because I put the alcohol in there. Look at that. Put the alcohol ink in there. I don't think it's going to get cured. It's what's left over from there, and that's, that's curing. This is not, because I put the alcohol in there. So y'all don't do that. Uh, I hope I didn't ruin that mold. Okay. It should be ready to come out. Oh, good thing it took all the color off. There's no more mica on there. I just leave them laying flat. Mike is off of that one. You can almost see it through there. Can you, can you tell? You can see it. Okay. This is the first one I did. That's the one that's going to look different. That one right there in the middle. Oh, that looks horrible. See 
look at all the I can fix that I, I can fix it with some alcohol ink but yeah that looks bad and it didn't even get it right there oh this one looks better and that's the one where I did the the dobby even though that looks bad it looks better than this one And we can fix them. And that one looks better than this one. I swear I didn't clean up good. You know where I said oh well. And we can fix them. I can put a top coat on. And I can put some. Shimmery stuff to make it. So even that color came through. And it shouldn't have. Because this was all gold. So. Hmm. Let's try something. Let's just see something here. I'm just going to try something real quick. I am getting the scraper out. I've never used these before, so let's see if it works this time. It's not really getting anything. I just want to see if this is going to work.
Okay. And I lost the lid. Oh, and it probably went up underneath there. That can wait then. Okay. And we're going to try this. Yes, I'm trying to salvage. I don't want to waste that. I wasn't planning on using UV resin tonight, though. Go ahead and pop that up underneath the UV light. I don't want to try it on these if it's not going to work. So these will just wait. I could actually just put another whole coat of resin over there and just do it. As a top coat, which I may end up doing. I hate this. This is not okay. Okay, let me get the sticky mess out. This was the alcohol ink, and it all came to the back. Okay. Oh, but look at that. Okay. There's a reason I'm doing that. You see the detail of that shell? Oh, that's incredible right there. Oh, that is just incredible. And I, I hate that the alcohol ink, and it, it does not work. So... Save y'all uh, the mess. I'm trying to wipe it to see if I can salvage this. Cause it looks fine on the front. It's where the alcohol ink. Can't see it at all on the, the front. So we're going to leave that right there. Well, we're just, we're, we're not doing good tonight. The hedgehog did not come out good. I think it's a bad mold. Uh, we tried alcohol ink on the outside of the polyurethane resin. And that most definitely did not work. Uh, but the shell is pretty. The shell is very pretty. It's just the alcohol ink I tried to use in there. It did not work. Okay, let's see here. This is going to be way over poured everywhere. But it should be thin enough. Oh, wow. What is this? That's not a shell. What is that? Is that coral? Oh, sorry, y'all. What is that? Sorry, let me bring it down. Wow. Let me bring it back up. 
Yeah, can you see that? What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be a piece of coral? Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this one. Of course, this is over poured. But it's fairly thin. You see that one? Oh, my. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Yes, I love that. I wish I'd poured more of these. Did I get this one? Okay, I'm not sure if I like this one or not, to be quite honest with you. What do y'all think? I don't know. Thought I was going to like it, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that. Okay. And I think that was all of the shells. This one part, the very top. <laughs> that looks like a broken shell, y'all. Look at that. Wow. And of course, I'm going to have to clean this off. Really good. But I think I'm going to love this mold. I wish I'd poured that one and that one just to see. Well, let's try this one. Oh, this is going to be over poured horribly. This is one of my got in yesterday. One with the bird with a long tail. You know, I looked it up because somebody on here told me what it was. And so I went and looked. I did a search. I don't think that's the bird. Uh, but, you know, there's so many different varieties of it. It could be from the same family. I don't know. This is, I think this has got the Asian. Uh, and it, it calls it, it's in the magpie family, which sort of surprised me a little bit. But, uh, oh, wow. Okay, really badly overpoured. But can you see the detail in that? I wish all this stuff was not hanging over. Because it definitely takes away from uh, the detail of it. Let me get a pair of scissors and see if I can't trim away most of this which is really nice that you can do this with scissors you can get the, the majority of it and then you can take another tool and get the rest of it up I don't think my exacto knife is on the floor. I think I dropped it. My new one. This is my old one, which is so dull. That I don't know. Even the thinnest. Well, okay. It's working on that one. And it is easier to get it off now, especially with this, uh, 10 minute cure polyurethane. It's a lot easier to get it now than to wait till it is hard because when this stuff turns hard, it turns hard. But this 
stuff right here if you take it out early enough it's moldable which what I mean by that is you can actually glue it onto a piece and form it <sighs> like I don't have anything up here but say this was a jar okay and I wanted this on that jar you see how this can you see it you see how this bends to this I could actually glue that onto a jar put tape around it to keep it that way until it totally hardened you see that you see how it's turned and and it will conform to whatever shape that you put it on and that's what's so nice about uh, this oh goodness I got some polyurethane in with this UV resin so that is really pretty And we're going to just try this. And just see. If we can't get a little bit of sheen in here so where it's not so stark. I don't know if that's going to help it or not though be quite honest I think it's just too smeary I think I'm gonna have to pour another coat of resin over it I think it's just too smeary I was hoping maybe with the, the sparkle. But there's just two right up in here. Unless I put glitter. Oh, let's try this. Okay, that's sort of working. Oh! That's working! Woohoo! Yeah. There's a little bit right here. Okay, let's just put it in here. And I'm not going to do all three of them. That just allows you to see that you can fix it. We'll wait and see what the other one looks like. I wish I had my alcohol markers down here. While I was waiting, I'd see if you can... Uh, use alcohol markers on that. We 
which I think I have before. That mode's going back to Timu. That's depressing. And I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to try to use that on something. Ooh, I like that there. I love the ocean. I'm going to just lay that right there. That way you can see them. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Coral? Let's go back down to one. Hello. Hmm. I'm going to see. I'm going to grab. Yeah, I have these two. These Prism Fantasy uh, colors from PDO, but it takes forever for those things to dry. Okay, I've got some Piant. Piant? Pinata Gold Alcohol Ink. Let's just try it on the frame real fast. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'm over here on the silicone. Let me get some alcohol sprayed out here. See if you can do anything with the well, I think if I had a good brush, that brush is not letting go. Yeah, I'm just squirting a little bit on my thing over here. And I have some alcohol. So yes, that is very doable. to see if I can get oh yeah you can okay I sure like that can y'all see that huh so that is very doable and as tiny as this is but you can see this is not hard to do I just got these. These are just uh, disposable nail art brushes. They don't cost much at all. You get a whole bunch of them. And wow, one drop of alcohol ink goes a long way.
Hmm. You can make it lighter or darker. Let's see what happens if I put it right on. That's going to be way too much, right? Yeah, and you can't paint it as well either. It starts. I don't like that as well. But you could do that if you wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm using this new little silicone thing that I got. Over. I love this thing. I love the way it does that. It's like almost like watercolors where it just sort of. I'm putting a little bit of alcohol ink with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm coming back in with just a brush full of alcohol, y'all. And then I get a little bit more ink and a little bit of more alcohol. And then I just come in with a brush of alcohol. But boy, you can you can really get some intense detail in here if you really really wanted to really really easy and then you could go back and uh, put a black white wash over it to get that antiqued looking I see this is fun A little bit. I'm only putting a drop of uh, alcohol ink in at a time. I want you to see, and now that it's just alcohol that I'm putting on my brush. Look how it goes on, where it just. There again, this, this is just plain alcohol that I've got on my brush now. And I'm going back in again with the alcohol. And now just, I mean, the alcohol ink and now just alcohol again. To make it flow. Wow. I love to paint, y'all. I don't do a lot of it on here because I'm afraid most people would find it boring. But I could spend hours painting stuff. We used to own a ceramic studio. Me and my mom. Years ago. Years and years and years ago. But we did ceramics. My mom and I started doing ceramics together, and I loved it. It's something that just her and I shared. And we also are the only ones that really shared crafts together. We did it together. I mean, my sister just loved crafts, but she was not one to do it with mom. Uh, but me and mom did it together a lot, and I am so thankful that I have those memories. Okay, that's alcohol ink, y'all. Straight on the poly polyurethane 10-minute cure. And it's still bendable. See, it's still pliable right now. So you've got some working time. And I'm not going to uh, continue doing this. I was waiting for that to and that did help it that helped it tremendously and I sort of like the glitter 
on there. And if I top coat that and domed it, I think I'd really, really like those. So, yeah, I think that's a win. I love the shells. I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it on the S. See if it sticks. I love the shell. Now, the alcohol ink did not work with it. But at least I got to see the detail is just great. Look at that shell right there. Coral? I'm guessing. I don't really like that one. The, uh, and this. Now, I absolutely love this. It's upside down. I love the detail. I mean, there are so many tiny. Those are flowers. Little roses. And I'll show you real quick, just so you can see. Let me, let me see if I can get, that's red pepper. Let's see what this does. I don't remember what some of these colors are. Let me get the gold out of the brush. I just want to show you how detailed you can get. On these. Oh, look at the red. It's running. Ooh, I sort ooh, I sort of like that. I know a lot of people wouldn't, but ooh, I sort of like that. Ah, uh, that's not a rose. But that is. It's like the roses are weeping. Perfect week for that, really. I'm putting too much alcohol uh, in with it, and that's the reason why it's running like it is. You can control that to a certain degree. <sighs> but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I know a lot of people wouldn't be, but I am. And let's see if you can clear it up or make it sort of go away. Well, to a certain degree, I think you probably can't because you can't get in there good. Let's see what the, the gold does to it. If I can cover that. Which I don't mind it. But for all of y'all that would mind it. Let's see if I can cover it up with the gold. And yes, you can. Even where the areas that you didn't like, or maybe the, you can cover it up and put another color. But that's how, and same right here. You see how tiny you can get. And you can, you can cover that up. Now I still have some of the gold on here. I'm not trying to be so 
careful but you could be and you wouldn't be painting holding on to it either you'd be painting with it down well i would be um i'm doing this so you can see I'm expecting another order from AliExpress any time now. I was hoping it would come in today so I could show you more molds. Somebody said, Oh, just admit it. You're addicted to molds. Well, I've admitted that a long time ago. I am most definitely addicted to molds. I love them. But I'm having fun with them. So there you go it just goes to show you can do whatever you want to <laughs> but could you imagine doing all this little tiny detail and then putting it look at look at the branches and the stems on that yeah and the flowers i can't figure out what that is supposed to be actually what is that supposed to be y'all know what is that? It's supposed to be green? A tree? I don't know. I guess so, because he's on a branch. And then you put that on a box or a jar or, you know. Yeah. That's really cool. Or you can make those little stands. Where's the little stands? Oh, let's see. These may be too big, though. I don't know if they make them any smaller. I'm sure they do somewhere. But I think these are going to be too big. No, you can make them work. Oh, now see how sweet is that? I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to put something on it so where it dries flat. There we go. That should work. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, y'all have been so supportive. And it's not going unnoticed. And my channel is getting more and more views. And I know it's because of y'all. And I just have to say thank you. And I know those words just seem so simple. And sometimes they just don't seem enough to me. But that's all I can do. That's that's uh, all I can say is is thank you and and let you know that I'm very much aware uh, of how blessed I am and how wonderful each and every one of you are. And I know that, and I just want to let you all know that I know that and say I got that polyurethane resin <laughs> stuck to my phone. Um. And I, once again, just want to say thank you. And uh, the secret word for today is love. Just simply love. And I would love for you to hit the thumbs up button. Like. Uh, share. Hit the notification bell. If you've not subscribed, uh please do so and uh, our Facebook group I would love to see each and every one of you over at the Facebook group I know a couple of people <laughs> we had this glitch today and a couple of people tried to get in and I tried to approve them and then the Facebook AI did something weird and they disappeared they didn't get disapproved it was just like there was a glitch and they just disappeared. And I'm hoping they'll reappear at some point. But if something weird happened to you trying to get on the Facebook group today, uh, please note that 
it's it's some kind of glitch. It it wasn't us. It was something going on with Facebook. So if if anything did happen, please come back and and do it again. Um, I will never ever turn anybody away from our Facebook group. And I just want y'all to know that. And so with that, I'm going to say I hope y'all are doing great. Uh, I hope that you're having a lot of fun doing any kind of craft that you're doing. And if you don't do crafts, I just hope you're enjoying life. What, whatever it is that you're passionate about. Um, and I will see you again it's tomorrow Friday. Yeah, Dan's working. So, yes, I will be back down here tomorrow doing a video. Alrighty, y'all have a great night. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.